the Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dart, the enemy to read you another story. And I have a very, very important book tonight because it's going to teach us some very important lessons. And just to make it fun, it's about a dinosaur. I know you're going to love it. And it's called Suppose You Meet a Dinosaur. Suppose you meet a dinosaur. And then here it says, A First Book of Manners. Hmm, what are manners? Well, manners is how we behave. And good manners are when we behave politely. Like when we say please and thank you and sorry and excuse me. Those are manners. But what does meeting a dinosaur have to do with your manners? Well, I guess we're going to have to open this book and find out. Are you ready to get into this dinosaur book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Suppose you meet a dinosaur. A first book of manners written by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Tim Bowers. You're shopping at the grocery store. Surprise! You see a dinosaur. This doesn't happen every day. So what are you supposed to say? Hello, I'm pleased to meet you, is the proper thing to say. Wow, she's excited and being very polite to that dinosaur. Mom looks a little nervous. Imagine that the dinosaur is standing by the bathroom door. You have to pee. She's in your way. Quick, what's the proper thing to say? Excuse me. That's the polite thing to say as you rush past the dinosaur. Commotion in the produce aisle. The dinosaurs upset a pile of apples and they roll away. If you pick them up, what will she say? Thank you, says the dinosaur because you helped her pick up her apples. Your shopping cart begins to spin. It dings the dino on the chin. She roars a terrifying roar. What do you tell the dinosaur? I'm sorry, you say to the dinosaur because you bumped into her. The dinosaur that gives you four banana chips, which you adore. She asks you, would you like some more? How do you answer the dinosaur? Yes, please is the nice thing to say. You want to buy some butter brickle. Yikes, you need another nickel. The dinosaur says, here's a dime. What are the magic words this time? Thank you. Here's your change. Would you like some butter brickle? The dinosaur is worried that a brickle snack would make her fat. She does not want it even slightly. How does she let you know politely? Oh, the dinosaur wants to say no, but she doesn't want to be rude. What should she say? No, thank you. That's the polite thing to say. You find her glasses on the floor and hand them to the dinosaur. She smiles and says, why thank you, dear. What words does she expect to hear? You're welcome. Out the door of the grocery store tromps the friendly dinosaur. She's waving as she drives away. I'm sure you know the words to say. Goodbye. It was nice to meet you. Wow, that was a good book. That taught us so much about manners. Now we know how to behave if we ever meet a dinosaur in the supermarket. We know to say hello, it's nice to meet you, excuse me, please, thank you, you're welcome, and goodbye, it was nice to meet you. I think that's what I would say if I met a dinosaur. It was nice to meet you. That would be fun. This was a good book and it taught us a lot about manners and about being polite and using kind words. And we need to remember that for everybody that we're around not just dinosaurs. Manners are for everybody and for all the time. You know what? We're going to take a minute to pray about that tonight because it's very, very important that you have good manners. Very important. So Miss Dorothy is going to pray for you that you'll remember that. All right, fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, 
Thank you for my friends. Thank you that they keep coming back to hear stories. Please watch over them tonight as they sleep. And please watch over them tomorrow as they play, as they go to school, as they're with their mom and dad. Help them to remember to use good manners. Help them to remember to be kind and polite and say please and thank you and always use nice words. Please help them to be good friends to their friends and to be well behaved for mom and dad and their teachers in Jesus name amen all right my little polite dinosaurs it's time for you to get off into bed I need you to get under your covers get cuddled up curled up ready for a really good night's sleep and remember tomorrow use your manners and obey and obey right away and then come back and see Miss Dorothy I'm gonna be sitting right here ready to read another book to you bye thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another what's your favorite book drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know I'll go find it and I'll read it to you be sure to subscribe like and share. I'll see you soon.
do.